Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. Today, we're going to create a stunning cinematic burger scene animation, and the best part? We're doing it without any plugins, 3D cameras, or lights. I'll be sharing a super simple technique that's perfect for beginners, so don't worry if you're just starting out. Trust me, you've got this. All right, let's dive right in. First, we'll create a new render composition. I usually go with a preset of 1920 by 1080, a frame rate of 29.97, and a duration is 10 seconds. Once you've set that up, just hit OK. Next, we'll import the footage files. Don't worry, the download link of the footage in the description below. Now, drag the footage into the folder icon to create a new folder. Let's name it Footage to keep things organized. Once that's done, drag the background wall into the timeline, then drag the black wood texture into the timeline. Now, let's create a new composition. I'm going to call this Burger Scene. Set the width to 1500 and the height to 3000. Hit OK. Next, we'll adjust the burger footage into this composition. Drag the two footage layers, the top of the roll, into the timeline. Make sure the Luma footage is always on top and then change the track mat to Luma mat. Press S for scale and set the value to 50%. Now, let's pre-compose this and name it Top Bun. Next, drag the tomato footage into the timeline. Again, Keep the Luma footage on top and set the track mat to Luma mat. Scale it down to 50% as well. Once that's done, pre-compose it. Now, Let's drag the middle part of the footage into the timeline and adjust the sequence. Don't forget to scale it down to 50%. We'll do the same thing for the rest of the footage. I'll fast forward through this part to save time but feel free to pause and follow along at your own pace. Now, let's tweak the rotation and sequence of the footage to make it look just right.
There we go. Perfect. Next, let's add some text. Type out burger. Using the Capture It font. Rotate the text to 90 degrees. And set the font size to 400. Then, duplicate the text layer and change the font size to 150. Now, let's add a catchy slogan. I'll open Google and search for a burger slogan. Once I find one I like, I'll copy it and paste it here. Change the font to Rockwell and make a few adjustments to get it looking just right. Now, drag the burger scene composition into the timeline and rotate it to minus 90 degrees. Adjust the scale value until it looks perfect. Open the burger scene composition and tweak the burger font size a bit. Next, convert it into a 3D layer and duplicate it. Press R for rotation and set the X value to minus 77. Now, let's apply the CC slant effect. Enable set color and change the color to gray. After that, apply Gaussian Blur. And set the blurriness to 50%. Adjust the X value to minus 80. I think 80% blurriness looks great here, but feel free to play around with it until you're satisfied. Now, let's add some fire. Drag the fire footage into the timeline and change the blending mode to screen. Hmm, I just noticed something. All the footage is animating in the same direction. Let's fix that. Open the burger scene composition, select some of the layers, and enable time reverse. And there we go. Everything's looking fantastic. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Take care and keep creating. Goodbye.